Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how I color on Paint Tool Sai, and this is just one of the many ways how I color. Um, it doesn't, I don't use a line art, so if you've been wanting to learn how to color this way, uh, this is a tutorial for you. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to do a voiceover because uh, I'm too lazy and I don't really like putting captions here and there and maybe you're the you would like to um, listen instead of reading everything while you're trying to watch, so. Uh, let's begin. Alrighty, well, first things first, I start off- Oof, I'm already shading. Um, oof. I start off with a sketch on one layer, and on the second layer underneath, I put a base color. In order for you to have a painterly technique on Psy, which I use marker um, mainly, you need a base color now what a base color does is it's like a solid foundation basically that lets you pile a bunch of colors and blend it together so right now I'm just piling uh, darker shades on top of my foundation color and contouring where there should be to um, draw out the nose and lips and you don't need lines for that I think the colors really can bring it out themselves. I'm sorry, I <laughs> this isn't scripted. I don't have anything ready. I'm just talking as it's going, so. So yeah, it looks like we're on the, hmm, no. So I'm just going about, on the eyes, I like to have a dramatic contrast with the eyelid and the hollows of the eye, so. Yeah, oh, where am I now? Looking at the other eye. And you can see that if you use the water tool, the water tool, marker tool, and what is that? The brush tool, you can all make it like smooth and um, yeah, this is probably the opposite of cell shading. If you don't know what cell shading is, it's basically shading with color blocks instead of blending like that. So. Shade where the jaw lines go in. Highlight where the cheekbones come out. Ooh, now we're on eyes. So with eyes, I usually start off with a light color. And the whites of the eyes isn't really white. I use like a grayish so that when you draw the um, shiny thing of the eye, it really pops out. Wow, this is like a makeup tutorial. <laughs> um, yeah, so I usually blend in the lighter color with the sketch oh by the oh i forgot to mention you merge the sketch with the colors once you know what colors you're using so yeah i use a darker color of the lighter color should my darker shade and start blending the oh, skype start blending the what is that eyelash part <laughs> with the eyes oh make sure to flip your canvas because you can really see the um flaws that you normally wouldn't see in the right upright uh, position so make sure you flip back and forth to see that it looks okay on both sides and here I'm just touching up and making sure all the colors go nicely for the neck okay here I go back to the eyes and I start highlighting the best way I found to highlight is to use a totally different color, but near your color. Oh god. So if you're using green, you can use yellow, and then you can use your layer options. I usually use addition. It might be a different word for um, your side, but I use addition to highlight the eyes. Oh, now we're on hair. So same thing with hair. Um, you have a foundation for hair, so you can layer on top colors, darker colors, lighter colors, to give it... um dimension i guess but oh now we're on eyebrows ah. oh yeah that's a ref reference i'm using sometimes i just move around um eyebrows when they look out of place and that's a good thing about one layer coloring like you can easily just move stuff around i find it difficult to move things when you have line art because you have to change the line art and then you have to change the color anyway back on hair we have a solid foundation which is the reddish in the middle and then we put that down as long as you have a foundation you can um 
You can pile on top colors and you can also make them branch out with the brush tool, not marker, marker tool, because marker is only effective on a foundation. So if you want to make new strands of hair sticking out, use the brush tool. And the brush tool is nice sometimes because it also blends in the colors that are in the way, so you have a nice gradient of colors. Here I'm taking a lighter shade and I just put it where I think it looks good. I don't really have a solid uh, explanation for that, but um, usually I put the lighter shade right above the darker shade for that more dramatic contrast and lighting. Um, yeah. Um, while we're still at the hair, I'll talk about the skin more. Um, you don't always have to use pale and then orange and reds. You can use light purple and a little bit of blues. Just play around with the colors for the skin. I think it's the most, um, Oh god, lack of vocabulary word. It's exportable, if uh, if you may. Um, you could put in pinks, dark reds, and just blend it all. Like, yeah. But don't blend too much because blending gives the um, look that you were lazy and you just like blurred everything together. If you want that painterly kind of um, look, then you should sh use strokes. Yeah, use strokes. This is hair. Um, make sure the bangs and hair come from somewhere. They don't just sprout out of your scalp. Um, we all have that one part of... Okay, no, that makes no sense. Sorry. <laughs> and after um, using... After coloring the hair, I like to add more highlights to make it look shiny and silky and nice. You can also, like the method used for the eye, the addition layer, you can use that layer option for hair as well to make it look like it's highlighted. And onto the ponytail. Hmm, what should I talk about? The sketch. When you make a sketch to, to know where you're going to color and stuff, you should choose a dark color. And depending on the character you're drawing, like for this one, his hair is like fiery based and it's very warm colors. I use a brown so that when I merge the lines and the colors together, the uh, the blending goes well together. Like if I use a neon yellow and merge the colors, like I don't know how that would look. But if you maybe let's, for example, you have a water based character, use a very dark blue or purple, maybe even like magenta. So when you blur it together it will look nice you'll see there's another character on the left he has um blue hair i used a dark purple sketch oh you saw a little bit of that and then i'll show you at the end what it looks like oh there he is and then um clip on the hair and then use an airbrush put the opacity to like 50 or under and then highlight places where you think should be highlighted. That's how I do my last touching. Last touch is lighting. Yeah. No rings. Um, hmm, rings. Rings are metal, and metal has a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of colors and coloring. So, what I did. What did I do? Let's wait. Shaping it up. Yeah, buddy. Going back to there. Mm, another beneficial thing about one layer is that you could just edit the colors, edit the shirt, and shape whenever you want. Except sometimes it could get complicated. But. For the most part, it's pretty- Oh wow, oh wow, that's a- uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but um... You can see I use darker- she, not, not necessarily darker yellow, but like... Darker red, brown, somewhere in that palette. And a little bit of purple. If you can see purple tints. 
Oh, you see that luminosity? Like, yeah. That's where... That's where the addition layer... Is it addition or luminosity? I don't know, but... <laughs> uh, it's either one of those, I think. And here we are with clothing. I shade clothing differently than I shade my hair because obviously they have different textures. I still uh, use strokes because that's my style, but it comes out a bit differently, if I may say so myself. Clothing, I sh like with the skin and hair. I start with a base color and use darker colors, lighter colors to highlight and shadow, contour, blah blah blah. Give dimension. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors. I think that's the most important thing. Like many artists and beginner artists are afraid to use other colors, but oh, it ended. But yeah, don't be afraid. This is the finished product, um, as you can see, I just recorded the one on the right, not on the left, but I did talk a little bit about it. You can see the bluish um, hmm, tones on it because I used a blue sketch. So if you have any other questions or comments, curiosities, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll get to you.